step six, what we are essentially asking is that if we have the feeling which are natural, if we can understand these feelings which are natural, and if we can ensure these feelings, then we can be in a state of harmony and happiness. Right. So let us find out which are the feelings which are natural for us, which are naturally acceptable for us as human beings. So let's look at this. Let's ask this question to ourselves. <clears throat> this is step six. We are doing it in two parts, 6A and 6B. So we are saying it is important to understand the feelings that are natural for me, the feelings that I want in continuity. So let us ask ourselves as to which feelings are natural to me. The feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition. The feeling of harmony or feeling of disharmony feeling of contradiction. Similarly, which feeling is naturally acceptable to me? The feeling of coexistence or feeling of struggle. So let us ask this question to ourselves. In fact, we have been asking this question to ourselves in many ways, but now let's do it systematically. Let us ask this, whether the feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable to us, is natural for us or the feeling of opposition. Similarly, feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable to us or feeling of contradiction. Feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable to us or feeling of struggle. So if I do this, I can see that feelings that are natural for me the feelings that I want in continuity are the feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony, feeling of coexistence and not otherwise. So it is the feeling of relationship, feeling of harmony, feeling of coexistence which is naturally acceptable to us and not otherwise. So this is a, you know, uh, important conclusion that we can do by, derive by direct observation. So I can directly observe and see that it is the feeling of relationship which is naturally acceptable to me and not otherwise. Similarly, feeling of harmony is naturally acceptable to us and not the contradiction. The feeling of coexistence is naturally acceptable to us and not the feeling of struggle. So this is what we have to look at ourselves, evaluate and decide in step 6a. In 6b, what we are saying is that now that this feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence is what is naturally acceptable to us, therefore, I need to understand relationship, I need to understand harmony, I need to understand coexistence. In other words, we are saying we need, I need to contemplate on natural characteristics. I need to understand the innateness, I need to realize the coexistence. This we have been talking about in EHP1 and EHP2. But even if I'm not very convergent with it, it is fine. You can directly start observing in ourselves, right? As to what it is, which feeling is naturally acceptable. Feeling of harmony, which is harmony, relationship and contradiction, coexistence or struggle. And I can just briefly mention this step seven also, you know, so that we can work on both this step six and step seven. So this step six part A, I'm trying to find out which feeling is naturally acceptable to me and it turns out to be the feeling of 
relationship, harmony, and coexistence. In 6b, we are trying to understand this relationship, harmony, and coexistence in detail. Now, once it is clear that it is the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence which is naturally acceptable to me, and that this feeling leads to a state of harmony within and happiness within, then all that I have to do in step 7 is to make sure that, it, this, that at this moment of time, right, if there is an imagination, that if there is a feeling, right, it has to be in line with feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, and not otherwise. So this is what I have to do in step seven. Very simple step. That once I know that the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, which is naturally acceptable, I will make sure that the feeling that I have at this moment, the thought I have at this moment, is in line with the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence, and not otherwise. And if I can do this, I can be in a state of harmony and happiness. And if I can do this every moment, I can be in a state of harmony and happiness every moment. So this is what we have to do in step six and seven. So from now onward till tomorrow morning, we'll work on this step six and step seven, this type one. So with this, I can stop my uh, sharing in, in Hindi, in English, and move on to Hindi. But if there is any urgent question or any urgent you know, kind of clarification required, I can certainly respond before shifting to this Hindi session. Okay. Okay. So we'll work on this till tomorrow morning intensively in all these seven steps. And if there is any question, we'll take them up tomorrow. If there is any observation, if there is any clarification required, we'll take them up tomorrow morning. And as we said, that this exercise we have to do every moment. From step one to step seven has to be done every moment. Right? All 24 hours, every minute, every second, right, and every moment. Because the imagination is going on every moment anyway. So if I become aware, I can work on myself every moment. Because every moment I want to be happy. Therefore, I have to make sure that every moment, right, my feeling is in line with my natural acceptance. With that, I will be able to ensure harmony within and happiness within. So, we'll continue to work on that. Uh, 